Welcome to the video. Today I will discuss about. Watch the video completely. Jerome Bruner. Theory of Cognitive Development. He was born in 1915 in New York, USA. His references of work found in academic texts mostly address learning and development. According to Bruner the outcome of cognitive development is thinking. According to Bruner, effective learning occurs when students acquire a general understanding of a subject. That, when they understand the structure of a subject, they see it as a related whole. According to Bruner, mind organizes knowledge in a hierarchical fashion, with the more general, all-encompassing ideas at the top of hierarchy, and the more concrete, factorial ideas toward the bottom. Bruner believed that important outcomes of learning include not only just the concepts, categories, and problem-solving procedures invented previously in the culture, but also the ability to invent these things for oneself. According to Bruner, one's intellectual ability evolves as a result of maturation, training and experiences through a series of three sequential stages the inactive, iconic and symbolic stages. Stages of Bruner theory. An active stage. Birth to three years. Iconic stage. Age three to eight. Symbolic stage. From age 8, an active stage, knowledge is primarily stored in the form of motor responses. This is not just limited to children. A baby represents world through actions. Our knowledge for motor skills, e.g. riding a bike, are represented in the inactive mode. They become automatic through repetition. Many adults can perform a variety of motor tasks such as typing, sewing, etc. Iconic stage, sometimes called the pictorial stage. Knowledge is stored primarily in the form of visual images. Knowledge represented through visual or auditory images or icons. This may explain why, when we are learning a new subject, it is often helpful to have diagrams or illustrations to accompany verbal information. Symbolic stage sometimes called the abstract stage. The last stage takes the images from the second stage and represents them using words and symbols. Knowledge is stored primarily as words, mathematical symbols, or into other symbol systems. Major changes occur at six or seven years as language starts to influence thought. Not so dominated by appearance of things children can think beyond images and use symbols such as words or numbers. Educational implications as Brunner's theory. 1. The aim of education should be to create autonomous learner. 2. A learner can learn at young. If the instruction is organized appropriately. 3. Thinking should be based entirely on physical action. That is, by learning by doing. 4. While learning new subjects, it is helpful to have diagrams or illustrations along with verbal information. 4. It shows the importance of language to deal with abstract concept. 5. Education should also develop symbolic thinking in addition to imparting knowledge. 6. Students should construct their own knowledge. 7. Teachers should be to facilitate learning rather than providing information and rote learning. 8. Different subjects should be taught at an appropriate cognitive stage of maturity. 9. Curriculum should be arranged in a spiral manner, or in order of increasing difficulty. Best of luck for your exams. Thanks for watching. Theory of Cognitive